Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a BMW guys and you want to know the symptoms of a bad Westgate actuator, how to know it's bad, what to expect if it goes bad and how that thing can destroy your engine guys. Make sure you stay with us until the end. Also guys, okay, we're going to cover a little bit if you have certain BMWs with a certain gasoline engine, how they're affected by bad timing chains and how that can cost you five to ten thousand dollars. Make sure you stay until the end guys because our mission is to save you as much money as we can. That's why we're here guys. Before we start, let me tell you what we do. If you need to buy any parts or tools for your BMW, check out guys the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, we will be making guys more than two to three hundred free repair videos on every single car we get at the shop why because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information so you may have two different kinds of waste, wastegate actuators i'm going to cover that today that's a wastegate actuator okay but before we start guys let me tell you if you have a bmw check this channel out electrical car repair life we'll have quite a few videos about engine diagnostics fixing engine lights codes relays electrical components videos that can save you quite a bit of money guys so please subscribe to that channel as well and all the mechanical videos will be on this channel auto repair guys which is our main channel so if you guys have a bmw okay bmw with n20 engine or n26 engine some of those are known for failing timing chains and they fail really early sometimes guys we just replaced one that failed at 87,000 miles and that could have cost five to ten thousand dollars we were lucky enough that uh, actually uh, we jumped only three teeth on the camshaft so actually that didn't destroy the engine so we're glad for that guys but if you have one of those i have link in the description of the video below that explains which engine which ears are affected and we have a video that explains the whole process of replacing timing chain it is complicated video it is long but it's there guys to save you money everything from start to finish this is a wastegate actuator guys it serves okay you may have two different designs electrical ones okay or uh, one that's uh, controlled by vacuum the vacuum ones you have vacuum lines and most of the times you will not have wire so you have a single double wire at the most but most of the times they're vacuum vacuum actuators this one is actually electrical one when they fail guys what those things do okay before we explain when they fail they open and close okay the exhaust gate that controls if okay the gas is going to go through the turbo or it's just going to go straight out of the exhaust why you have that because let's say your engine guys hypothetically works at about 20 or let's say 20 psi and if okay when the turbo uh, reaches that 20 psi the wastegate actuator will start opening barely so it can compensate and make sure that the boost stays at a certain level so you don't over boost your engine if you over boost your engine that could be catastrophic and you can completely destroy it but another thing guys okay how those things can fail stuck open or stuck close if it's stuck open guys you have no boost your car will have no power okay and you will be lacking quite a bit of power guys so you will know that if you have the electric wastegate actuator if it fails you may immediately get engine light on that's why it's a good thing when you get engine light on immediately stop check out what's wrong okay before you start driving the car again or trying to get it to your house or garage or dealership guys because that can okay that can destroy your car because if it's stuck close you can over boost your engine guys okay uh, the wastegate will not be able to open and close as a result you can put too much boost on the engine now the engine may detect that immediately and it can throw a throw it in limp mode in which you will not be able to uh, put too much boost but still in some cases you may destroy your engine so you don't want that to happen but it is possible guys so uh, it could fail stack open or stack close and uh, usually they're pretty simple to replace we have a video on the channel how to do it thank you for watching and see you guys next time